Well, a sensational win here tonight for Sri Lanka against a much fancied England side, a much needed win for Sri Lanka, picking up two vital, vital points and propelling them up the ladder slightly. England, on the other hand, a disappointing performance. Going to have a little look at the match summary here from Headingley. Sri Lanka getting 232 for nine. I thought England bowled fantastically well. England were in a good position with Joe Root and Owen Morgan playing well, but then bundled out for 212. Ben Stokes was excellent with 82. Lassie Malinga, four for 43, rolling back the years. We've got a very, very special guest alongside me, Angelo Matthews. This is a happy hunting ground for you, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. You know, especially after the 2014 victory, you know, we've had some you know, good memories here. And it was a fantastic win once again. I, you know, halfway, you know, we thought we were about 30, 40 runs short, but the bowlers came out all guns blazing and Lassit was fantastic today. The captain mentioned post-match about speaking about that win and showing the guys some pictures. Did you get motivation from that? Absolutely. I mean, you know, especially uh, playing in England and, you know, beating England is not an easy task to, to any team. And, you know, when you win against um, a top quality team like England, you know, who would have thought, you know, this would be the result today? I mean, you know, nobody would have, you know, given us this chance today, but, but we came and uh, we showed our character and it was a brilliant effort. You came into form and look at the game, looking for a little bit of form, obviously runs are a bit shy. You looked in good nick today. Not really, mate. I was struggling all the way through and, you know, I thought I was, you know, out of form till the 49th over. <laughs> but, but I, you know, I knew that it was, a, it was not a um, great wicket to bat on. It was stopping and turning a little bit, so I had to fight it all the way through and, you know, scrap for my runs and it was, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm glad that I did. Kumar, you must be absolutely thrilled to bits here for this victory for Sri Lanka and about the way they played Sri Lanka. I think it was a, just a great performance and um, it's not, not just a disappointing performance by England. They cracked under considerable pressure exerted by the disciplined bowling of the Sri Lankan attack. Uh, the wicket really didn't suit their style of play. Uh, and uh, it just goes to show that you can be the best side in the world, but when you're up against a side that's fighting, that's planning, that's had good tactics working through a game, that getting over the post is always going to be difficult. I just wanted to ask Angelo, after this win, my concern is still about the batting. What do you think really you guys can do to keep improving as a batting unit? Because 240 totals may be on this pitch, but on another might not be enough. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, it all depends on the wicket that we play as well. We needed to sort of assess the conditions first, and you know, which we did. But we, we kept losing wickets. You know, Avishka started off fantastically, um, and you know, it was so much easier for us to, you know, sort of consolidate in the middle. But yeah, I mean, a big talking point was the middle order, and uh, we had to, you know, raise our hands up and you know give that performance. But you know, it's never enough. I mean, you got to keep going, and uh, you got to be try and con be consistent as as much as we can. Fantastic, Angelo. Thank you so much for joining us. Wonderful performance. We'll let you go. Thank you so much, Nasser. Let's talk England for a second. That was a disappointing performance. You walked past me in the media room about half an hour ago, shaking your head. <laughs> I'm just honoured to be holding the mic for Angelo Matthews there at the end, to be <laughs> you honest. You bailed me out there, didn't you? Uh, that's my contribution so far this evening. Yeah, listen, it's always been England's nemesis. When it gets a little bit tight and the pitch is starting to spin and it's starting to hold, can they hold their nerve? And they didn't today, and that's a worry now. Pakistan and Sri Lanka, and with the sides they've got coming up, India, New Zealand, Australia, that is a concern today, but all credit to Sri Lanka. Under the utmost pressure, they delivered their skills, and their legend, their star, Lasith Malinga, when you needed someone as a captain to deliver, he delivered. But is it also a case for England, Nasser, where, you know, they've always liked to chase, yes, uh, and a lot of sides have tried to take that away from them, but would they now change their mindset? Pakistan beat them defending a, a, a total. Sri Lanka's done the same. Will they actually change that around? Well, I mean, it depends on the surface. On a pitch like this, I would be concerned against Sri Lanka. You spoke this morning about going back to their co core skills, their core values, get runs on the board, then choke, and that's what they did. They didn't get enough runs on the board, but that man, Malinga, delivering like that, and he got good players out as well. Joss Butler was a massive wicket. England didn't play well. That's two poor performances now they're going to have to put behind them. A word in the captain as well, uh, Kumar, because he made some good bowling changes at the right, and then pulled the bowler out of the attack. A couple of wickets, get him out of the attack. 
keep him on for later. I think Demut uh, Karnaratna was spot on, especially the fail set that he had for Joss Butler. He actually strangled Joss Butler's easy option of hitting down the ground by having a catcher at a very short mid on. Got him to try and hit against the line with Lassit Malinga looking for that LBW. And the plan worked. He brought in the off spinner, trusted the off spinner to bowl more overs than he actually needed to. He got him three wickets. Tactically, I thought he was spot on. A lot of contribution from Angelo Matthews and, and Lassit Malinga as leaders as well. And they're good signs. Well, we, we spoke to Angelo Matthews. A good performance. Slightly slow at the bat. Maybe that was due to the pitch, but he stayed there long enough, stayed till the end. Well, it was one of those innings that if Sri Lanka had lost, a lot of people would say, well, what was Angelo Matthews doing on that pitch? When Sri Lanka win, everyone looks back at that knock and goes, you know what? In the context of the game, that was a pretty special innings. He's not in great nick, but I always felt when you're out of nick, and I was out of nick a lot of times, <laughs> when you go back against a side you've done well and a ground you've done well, he's got a test 160 here, that just gets the good vibes going. And it's only a few boundaries between being out of nick and being back in. That was a super innings for him. Kumar, any thoughts on, on Angelo himself as a player? Obviously, he's, if Sri Lanka are going to somehow get to the semi finals, Malinga stood up here, Matthews has stood up, captain's doing the job. Yeah, everyone needs to contribute. It's, 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 it's about a team now. Players have struggled individually at various times leading up to this tournament in the tournament. Matthews talked about responsibility. Also, you need to be relaxed with that responsibility. You can't let it weigh you down too much. And I think as a batting unit, you've got to be realistic. This win. Is just a temporary plaster. Mm. It'll make you feel good, sure. but come tomorrow they need to debrief properly, properly and really get back into those nets and really talk about how they can really get to those totals that are acceptable in a World Cup. You know, on a pitch like this, 260, 270 maybe, but on other days they will have to fight harder and harder to get those 300 totals setting or chasing. So they need to be realistic about their own performance and be very honest with themselves. Uh, one player that played superbly well was Ben Stokes, uh, Nasser. Fantastic. You almost felt a bit sorry for him at the end, didn't you? Yeah, I'm not sure the Sri Lankans did, but <laughs> he's a very smart innings, actually. We've seen Ben over the years, a lot of muscle and play T20 innings. So I thought today he played it absolutely perfectly. He had to see off Malinga. He had to shepherd the likes of Archer and Wood from the strike. He left Wood with one delivery mm. to face and Wood nicked it. Uh, you know, Ben could have done no more today. He, he paced that innings absolutely perfectly. Well, an English bowler that was exceptional, and we spoke a little bit earlier on. Five games now for Mark Wood. Body feels good, bowling at good pace, great to see for England. Yeah, he walked past me this morning before the toss and went, five games on the bounce I've done now, <laughs> my body's holding together. That's the key with Mark, he's gone to this longer run-up as well, which is easing the strain on his body. He keeps taking wickets, they've gone Wood and Archer. They're a very, very successful combination. It does leave them, you know, people might be saying, well, if you didn't have Wood and Archer, you'd have had Plunkett and Willie down the order to go and smash a few. Mm. But I would rather, in these pitches, in this World Cup, I'd rather have the better bowling option. A big changing point in the run chase. Owen Morgan, who's obviously in fine form after Old Trafford, smashed from back. Udana, what a specky. Yeah, I, I thought that was, a, a, again, an important turning point, that reflex catch. It was not a great delivery, it was a low full toss. But to have the presence of mind to really, you know, just stick his hand out and grab it. I also thought that Ian Morgan might have, you know, left a little bit too much for due to the rest. He was in great form after the last game. The linchpin was Joe Root. They were going to bat around him. All it needed was a quick fire, 35 to 45 runs from some batsman in that in that 20 to 30 over mark for England to really go and and, and put put Sri Lanka to bed. But the bowlers held strong. I think tactically, batting-wise, they made a few mistakes down there and they've left, put, put the batting line up a bit under pressure at the back end. He's a good cricketer, Nasser Udan, isn't he? Bats well, bowls well, excellent in the field, took a good catch to get rid of Mo and Ali in the deep. Yeah, he's a very modern cricketer as well. He got one over wrong to Ben Stokes, but that's fair enough. Very modern cricketer, left arm always gives you a good option. Slower balls, cutters, Yorkers, wide Yorkers, excellent cricketer. Fantastic. Well, let's see what that uh, result does to the table here in Sri Lanka. Keeping themselves in the hunt for a semi-final position. England still third, eight points, disappointing loss to them. But Sri Lanka, buoyed by a wonderful win. Just up to fifth position, just one spot off India. So they're hot on the heels of India. Top four obviously qualifying for the semi-final. Some key fixtures coming up for England. We've got Australia, India, New Zealand. It's not going to get any easier than us. England don't like doing it easy. They <laughs> like doing it the tough way, and that is the tough way. They'll fancy their chances, they'll see this as a bit of a blip, but they're going to have to improve. 
Kumar, Sri Lanka, they need to do it again and again and again, don't they? Yeah, absolutely. And that's what World Cups are about. You don't get free passes in any of the games. They've had some washouts, they've had time off, they've had disappointing performances, but this needs to really bring them together as a team and motivate them to do better. Like I said, they've got to be honest, they're batting well below par, they need to raise their game. Fantastic win today. The whole country would be very proud of them, and they should be, as well of themselves, but a lot of hard work to do. Fantastic, gentlemen. Thank you very much. It's been a fantastic game. We've really enjoyed it. Make sure you keep following on all the social platforms. Hashtag CWC19. It's been an absolute cracker. We've loved it. Hope you've had a good time. Bye for now.